Alright. <clears throat> shalom, shalom. First of all, when you give up, praise on our glory to Yalba Shabi Asha, Meshima Kakwadash, Brakatam. And uh, the bondness to the elders and apostles of great most of will do well and teach well. As well as honest to you, brothers of the Onai ways and byways. Um, I'm going to do a quick video. Um, it's lucky for me not really speaking too loud right now. You know, it's getting kind of late and I don't really want to make too much noise. So, um, it's the book of First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 10. And they came out of them, right? Out of, uh, no, Alexander's four generals, Deodachi. They came out of them a wicked root, Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, so that Antiochus the king, who had been a hostage in Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. All right, Antiochus the fourth Epiphanes, and he was son of uh, Antiochus the third, the great. And they came out of um, the Seleucid line of, um, you know, these uh, generals that were under Alexander, which he had more, right? Cassander, Ptolemy, Seleucus, and Lysimachus, right? Uh, Cassander was in Macedonia, like, like, like around Greece. Ptolemy was in Egypt, Seleucus was in Asia Minor. Lysimachus uh, was in Asia Minor, if I'm correct. Hold on. So here's a pretty nice, uh, <clears throat> a nice photo here. Prophecies in Daniel 11. And um, that's really going into the Syrian wars, going between uh, the Seleucid dynasty and the Ptolemaic dynasty, and pretty much goes into you know, all of that. But that's a lesson for another time. Um, but you see here, you have, uh, pretty much explains itself, right? Um, so Lucid, he had kind of like, uh, Iran, Iraq, a Mesopotamia region extending eastward. Um, you see he had Israel, right? Um, Ptolemy had, uh, Ptolemy dynasty had, uh, Egypt. You see there, Pergama, which that was, uh, Lysimachus' territory. Um, that was, um, you know, Thrace and all those different regions, Asia Minor. And then you have Macedon, which you have Cassander. Okay, so back to this. Verse 11. In those days, we went down to Israel, wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant or an agreement with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we've had much sorrow. That makes sense that they would say that. You know, remember, uh, prior to this, we um, we left the Persian captivity, and uh, you know we rebuilt the you know, the first temple, created the second temple. Which the second temple, um, when you go into, wasn't wasn't as big as the the first temple, which is why, and then, you know, of course, with the, with this, after the Maccabean revolt, and uh, the Feast of Dedication, which I believe we're, we're still in, or may have just ended, um, um, with that, and the temple was rebuilt, after those times, again, you know, was back together again, um, it wasn't the same size as it was uh, in Solomon's time, and that's what Herod, you know, he took over it, and um, he, uh, you know, built over it and, and added some additions to it to try and bring it back to its original size, which Herod is an is Edomite. He goes back to, uh, I think his name was Antipater the Idumian, but um, he's, he's, not, he's not an Israelite, right? Going back to the sea land of his father, so he goes back to Esau. Um... But going into this, uh, that was pretty much what I wanted to get into. You know, they wanted they wanted comfort, right? Like same way you had uh, you know, Jake back back then leaving Egypt, wanted to go back. You know, being on some on some wicked kind of time, 
you know. Um, verse 12, so this device pleased them well. Then certain of the people were so forward herein that they went to the king, Antiochus the fourth Epiphanes, who gave them license to do either the ordinance of the heathen. Okay, so this is Antiochus the fourth Epiphanes, aka Joe Biden. Uh, Joe Biden the fourth Epiphanes, um, Greek God Manifest, also called Antiochus Epimenes the Mad, right? Joe Biden's fucking office fucking rocker. Celestial so King of the Hellenistic Syriac Kingdom, who ruled from 175 to 164 BCE. As a ruler, he was best known for his encouragement of Greek culture institutions, his attempts to suppress Juda Judaism, really to suppress, you know, calling yourself an Israelite, brought on the wars of the Maccabees. There you go. Early career, Antiochus was the third son of Antiochus the third degree, as far as defeated by the Romans, which uh, we go into. Um, and into that, um, the time when, well, really, it's, it's in the book of Maccabees anyway, we made a deal with these Romans. Um, these Romans were not Edomites. Um, we believe that these Romans are Japhites, and I heard another apostle are, uh, bring out this point. Um, and there was a, an a, a after camp lesson by the main camp on Revelation, the 13th chapter, and, and they went into it, you know? Um, it was still Jeff at this time, around the time of Julius Caesar and that, uh, like, first tri triumvirate, they call it. Uh, around that time was when Esau um, started to take more political power and, uh, you know, usurped um, the kingdom, you know. But once again, you know, I got to research it more, you know. I, I'm, well, I mean, I'm not going to say that there's no information on it, but. As I said before, I'm not going to speak on it. I'm going uh, uh, look for it. It's not, from what it seems now, I mean, until I look at it, it's, you know, just something I got to look at. But chances are it's probably not the same way they did it in um, uh, Greece. Um, probably not as overt, uh, overt right? like as in, in Greece um, with Esau, you know, they went to northern Macedon, northern Greece, which is Macedonia, which you probably had Japhites that were originally there before them, and they probably slaughtered them and took over. Um, then they, you know, slowly gathered power and rose in political power. Um, what these Edomites in Rome is probably more, uh, more subversive. But once again, you know, I gotta, you know, look into that. Um, so he served as a hostage for his father in Rome from 189 to 175. I think that goes back to a peace treaty that they had uh, between Tychus the Great and the Romans. We learned to admire Roman institutions and policies. His brother, King Seleucus IV, exchanged him for Demetrius, the son of Seleucus. And after Seleucus was murdered by Heliodorus, the usurper, and Tychus, and to Alcidem during his period of uncertainty in Syria, the Garden of Ptolemy VI. The Egyptian ruler laid claim to Koheli, Syria, Palestine, and Phoenicia. Um, yeah, so you can you can read more about this one if when you get into um, uh, Daniel eleven. It's lucky for uh, you know little brain fog. It's 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 late, man. You know, I'm, I'm not perfect. Never never said I was perfect. Never tried to be perfect. Um, you know, it's just. It is what it is. Um, I want to continue on here. Where upon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen. And we're going to come back to the gymnasium. And, uh, gymnasium, go back to the word gymnos, uh, which means to be naked. And that's what they did back then. You can look at it in ancient Greek artwork. Um, they'll show you them, uh, the men running around ass, uh, booty buck, naked. Um... And, and just running around and like training and shit. You know, not training and, and uh, athletic training in itself is not wicked. You know, because I mean, we were soldiers. So, of course, we, we knew how to fight. And of course, fighting, you need strength to fight. So, of course, we had probably different exercises and things that we're doing, calisthenics that we were doing back then. You know? Um, verse 15, it made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen 
and were sold to do mischief, okay? And made themselves uncircumcised, literally, okay? Also figuratively, um, in terms of being uncircumcised in their heart, in their spirit, turned away from the Lord. So the Holy Covenant joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. Yep. All right, so this is uh, CIRP.org, the Circumcision Reference Library. This is from 1965. Um, see here, I'm just going to go into the main point, Hellenistic period. The rapid spread of Greek culture and customs following the conquest of Alexander did not leave the Jewish nation and Palestine untouched. It's just Israel. Um, the Hellenized Jews adopted not only the Greek style of dress, right, and fucking togas and shit, but also their methods of training the young and their interests in athletic games. You know, it's that, you know, the Greeks, Greeks, Romans, same shit. You know, it's all, it's all fucking distractions. You know, we didn't, we didn't need any of that, man. You know, like even, even nowadays, like the concept of, uh, Adult sports is just like, you know, it's kind of weird, man. You know, because I was watching one guy, um, you know, a bitch you would kind of talk about it. Because we know sports is all just a distraction, right, and circus. But um, there was a, there was something where they were talking about it, how, like, before, like, the concept of, of male sports is, like, kind of new, you know what I mean? Like back then in like the ancient world, it was like strange for that. And of course, different cultures, like the Greeks, they, they did it anyway, you know? Um, but uh, where am I getting at here? What am I getting at here? Um, the guy was pretty much trying to make a point that like, you know, sports and stuff, that's like for the youth, right? But then when you get to a certain age, it's like, what are, what are grown men doing around, like, kicking a ball? Basically, was his point. And I was like, you know what? You kind of, you kind of got a point on that. It is, it is pretty strange, you know, for there just to be, like, you know, adult sports. You know, you synonymize games and playing with young. Now, certain things, right, like MMA, you don't, you don't need to have a sport for MMA. You could just have, you know, teaching and training, you know, and that's it. Um, which MMA, uh, and all those sports are all fake, you know, um, you can, you can look into all that for yourself, and I'm gonna say every single match of every single sport is fake, eh, maybe, maybe not, but, um, there are fixed matches, um, in the NFL, the NFL is fixed, right, the Mafia is all up and down the NFL, they've been in, in um, uh, running that shit in history, and the Mafia just go back to the Illuminati anyway. It's, just, it's all the same shit. Uh, but back to this, back to this. Uh, public nakedness became a commonplace throughout Judea. All right, so uh, niggas, uh, butt ass naked. All right, booty butt naked. All right, straight up. At Jerusalem itself, baths and gymnasia were erected within inside the Holy Temple to the whole of the followers of the law of Moses. Right, the Maccabean revolt. You, know, you had certain men that were like, we, we, we ain't doing that shit. The Hellenizers, right, and that same spirit of courage right now, not in the spirit of uh, to fight back carnally. You know, it's not the time for that. You know, for us to start, you know, start, you know, put putting these devils out, right, and taking these devils out of power. It's not, it's not that time right now, right. But this is the time where we where we have, I guess you could say, a form of um spiritual resistance right because these devils want to control your mind which is your spirit um and make you follow their ways and we're rebelling in our spirits and saying nah we're gonna follow the lord right because we know the lord had mercy on us he brought us out this world he gave us the ability to see and you know, all the bullshit that goes on in the world you know so it's like like hell we're turning back right like what the particle sun said which represents us right I was lost, and now I'm found, right? Or what the father said about the prodigal son, I, either or, you know? He was lost, but now he's found, right? Um, and that's the way we were, in that lost state, 
like hell were going back. And Jerusalem itself, Bath and Genesia were erected with inside the old temple to the order of the falls of the followers of the law of Moses, the Hellenizers, and the desire to destroy all evidence of the barbaric or barbarian origin in the Greek sense of the word, right? Like non Greek, tried to destroy the evidence of the covenant in Abraham. Circumcision was then circumcised, was then standardized, was then standardized. Though tradition was ambitious and frequently a large fragment of the pipus was left behind. The Hellenizers pulled this fragment forward. I think that just means like the foreskin forward manually stretched it and even applied blistering agents there too in order to make it cover the glands. Josephus says they hid the circumcision of the genitals so that even when naked they might appear as Greeks. And um yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Um but yeah, that was that was pretty much what I wanted to get into. Um let's go talk about one more thing. All right, so yeah, then you see other Jews literally circ soothe their foreskins back onto their penises, All right, and that's what they did, you know. And uh, I mean, nowadays, um, I mean, our people we don't have our records anymore. We, we you know, I mean, we know that we're we're Israelites, but um, it, it wasn't like back then when we had records and. You know, things were standardized. Right now, the Lord has woken up, you know, like remnant, you know, who get it and who understand. But really, he's, you know, allowed people to wake up at, at different levels, right? But those that are fully waking up, those are the Lord's elect, right? Those are the Lord's elect, right? Waking up out those dry bones. He has some people that kind of, you know, they, they still kind of dry, but they kind of part way part way getting it together you know the Lord may have mercy on them you know he might not as we always say we don't want to risk it you know, and as we always say if you want the truth 100% of the truth you gotta you know follow GMS but um, that, that's pretty much it um, I want to get into this uh, and I want to make one more point you know our people like you have um, your brothers in this truth some brothers, um, they haven't been circumcised until they're like 30, 30 and, and up, man, or like, you know, in an in a older age, right? Because their parents don't don't see any reason to. And that's how you know, far removed we are from our heritage, from our laws, our customs, from our power, how far we were. Because nowadays, now that we're in this truth, you know, now we're, we're back, you know? We, we gotta stay back, right? We're not we're not going back into that into that bullshit, Shalom.